Okay, last um, video for the section 2.2. These are exercises 15 and, and beyond. These are decomposing functions, which is kind of cool. Um, I never really, I don't remember ever hearing about this before, but I picked it up pretty quick. This is a great example, don't overthink it. So we're going to determine the problems are going to look like this. Determine G and H when you're starting with f of x. So you're starting with it already composed, and then you're going to split it out. Um, we call it decomposing. So like look at problem 15. They're telling us that the final answer, when, once the, the G and the H are composed, is going to come up with this. So what would G and H look like? And at first you might be like, oh my god, where do I even start? Just start with order of operations. If you look at this problem, what would you do first? How would you solve that? Let's say, I say, let's say x was 2. Would you start to do exponents? No, you do parentheses first, right? I would do what's inside these parentheses first. Remember PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents. So then I would, I would add that, and then I would square it. So that's the clue on how you decompose. So the first function is the, the h of x. That's one you're going to do first. That's like the first thing you're going to do to solve that problem, to like evaluate it. So my h of x is simply going to be x plus 3. That's going to be my first function. And then now the second function, g of x, is going to be, I'm going to take this and stick it inside of something, and I want it to come out with it looking like that. So just think about that for a minute. You're going to have, I want whatever, I want this to be squared. So what I'm going to think of it is like this. I want a container that's squared. And that container is going to hold x plus 3. So I'm going to insert it in here. So that's why we write just x. But remember, this x and this x aren't the same thing. This is just a container. We could, call it, we could also call it y. It really doesn't matter. But we're calling it x. Just this is the way we do it. So that's your uh, h of x is x plus 3. g of x is x squared. And if you compose those two together, you'd come back to this. Cool? So you're like, well, let's do another one. 19, 10 to the x plus 1. So h of x is the first. Order of operations. You've got an exponent raised to a power. It's one of those things that somebody said in class yesterday, implied parentheses. Right? Isn't it implied that you would do the x plus 1 first? If you knew what x was, if I told you x was 7? Then I would do, okay, 7 plus 1 is 8, and then I would do 10 raised to the 8th power. So I want to do this part of the problem first. So that's my function, x plus 1. Whatever x is, I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to get a value. Then I'm going to raise it up. So g of x is going to be some container raised up to whatever that power is. Hmm, wait a minute, how do we write that? So I guess we're going to write x, no, we're going to write 10. That's not the container, I'm sorry, the 10 is constant. The container is the exponent, whatever is going to be up here. So that's going to be x, and you're going to put that x plus 1 inside of that x. There you go. Hopefully you got that. Um, and in fact, you could basically come up with any expression at all, probably, and pretty quickly decompose it into that. So just as a sample, let me ask my cameraman. Stouffer, give me an expression. Okay, what? They're holding up. What do they got? X squared plus 3. All right, let's just try that. X squared plus 3. So that's the f of x. So order of operations. I'm going to first do x squared, and then I'm going to add 3. So my first function is going to be x squared. No big deal. And then my second function wants to add 3 to whatever that is. So I'm going to take a container. So I'm going to insert that into the container. In other words, put an x there. X, the container is always x. And I'm going to put the h of x into that. So that's going to bring me back to x squared plus 3 where I started. So there's your decompose. There's your two separate functions. And if you did your little um, g of h of x, you should come all the way back to here, you're right? You take your, your h of x, x squared, you stick it in your g, that would give x squared plus 3, you come back. So hopefully that didn't confuse you, and just try some of these problems. I think you'll get them pretty quick.